Well, Mike, this is a very stingy Penn State defense. In fact, statistically, they rank amongst the best in the country. They are 10th in scoring defense, allowing just about 15 points per game. And what's impressive about this group is it's a young unit, and there are no superstars. They're guys that defensive coordinator Tom Bradley calls his muckers and grinders. They play well together, and they work hard every day. And what really pleases the Nittany Nation, Wayne, is the fact that there is only one senior starting in this unit today. Everybody else will be back next year. We have a crisp, cool 45-degree day, 16-mile-an-hour winds out of the northeast. That makes it a little cooler than the temperature might suggest. Here's the kickoff by Brian Robertson. And Kinlaw, Rodney Kidnaw, mishandles in the end zone and downs it. And, or did he? I guess he never did. He comes out of there with it and makes a terrible decision and takes it out just to the five-yard line. Carolina now Penn State starts at its five-yard line, first and ten. To the outside, Hunt looking for room, got backed up as Levi in some skill positions. The slash performer is wide receiver Michael Robinson. He's the lone playmaker in this offense, but his drop last week on the goal line in the passing game may have cost Penn State the game. An offensive line that has struggled this year really doesn't have any superstars. Left tackle Levi Brown has the most potential. Second down and 10 yards to go. Terrell Golden in motion to the right. And here's the handoff to Hunt once again, just kind of pile driving. Zach Mills, a little bit of a roll, had some time. Now lets it go, and it's incomplete at Jennifer Robinson territory. Campanos out of the end zone. Good leverage into this kick and depth. Bennett backing up, looking up into the sun, makes the catch near the 36. Belly's back, looking for running room. Now turns upfield, change of direction to the 40, 45, 50. He may have a chance across the 45, 40, and out down and they go. start this drive at the Penn State 32 to the Hoosiers. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis is erased by Scott Paxson. Loss of about three with the quarterback, Lovecchio, in the backfield. Lovecchio sets up a screen going nowhere. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis on the reception, hammered down by Scott Paxson, who made two big plays behind the line of scrimmage. Beatty gets the snap, gets his kick away, and pooches it toward the far side. He puts some Velcro onto this one, and it carries out of bounds inside the five. Well done. And, uh, make Indiana go the length of the field. Tony Hunt finds a crease, and this is the best run the of the day. Possessions have started inside the 10 yard line. They fake the reverse to Robinson. Tony Hunt, receiver in motion. Tony Hunt trying to follow the blocking off the right side. He gets the first down. In their own territory. First and 10. Hunt around the end. Gets a block from Jefferson to the outside. Still on his feet, starting to... They get motion from the slot receiver. And they go to that way. Your screen. Mark Rubin, the freshman wide receiver at the bottom. Play action, and now under... Pressure is Mills on the rollout. Trying to thread the needle, and it's intercepted by Chesney, the linebacker. And he's out of bounds inside the 30. Oh, an ill-advised throw. So Indiana's second drive. They begin inside Penn State territory today. Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis trying to get to the outside. Derek Wake. Let's take a look at this Penn State defense. It is a good one. Uh, this, if you take a look at the defensive lines, it is Tamba Holly, number 91. He's the guy to watch. 11 tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Linebacking core, manned by the senior Derek Wake, who just made the last tackle. Alan Zemitis is an outstanding cover corner, and he plays 100% snap to whistle on every play. Second down, and about eight. The fake to Ellis, the option. They're going to Courtney Roby, the senior to the end zone. Touchdown! First and 10, Penn State out of the 20 yard line. This must feel like great field position for Zach Mills compared to what he's been working under. Tony Hunt trying to break three down cannot. and 10. The fake toss, Mills coming right back on the slant. Got the big freshman, Mark Rubin, and he's got a first down. Out near Robinson's at the bottom of your screen. From the shotgun on second down, Zach Mills has time. Way off the mark. I'm not sure who he was trying to hit if he was trying to get it deep to Rubin. Mills, incomplete. Pass intended for Tony Hunt. He could not hang I on. Know. And if you look at the top 25 rankings today, not a single opponent of Wisconsin is in there. Mills faked the toss. Robinson's got it out on the flank, and he's brought down. That's Robinson at the top of your screen. 
Ruben, the freshman at the bottom. Austin Scott, the tailback, going wide. Got a couple of good blocks. Could not shake Chesney, but does <laughs> hand. Mills on the rollout. Robinson goes down for it. Did he get it? Yes, he did. First down to the ball. Good play fakes in the back. Six teams left that are undefeated, as you saw, all six of them are on the board. Here's Mills. Hit as he throws. Over the middle and to the corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Caught out of bounds. Michael Robinson. That ball drifted a little bit. Boy, don't let the fact that it was out of bounds take away from the beautiful catch. Guys, this is not a natural receiver of Michael Robinson. We've seen him make some outstanding catches. Mills throws the ball fairly well. You want to keep it on the field, though. Take a look. There it is. And boy, that right foot couldn't tell exactly where the ball came into the hands. But take a look at that right foot and see if it's not down. Right there. Oh boy, I boy. think they're going to look at that one. Right. In the field of play, it is a touchdown. The system has worked beautifully, I think, in the Big Ten this year, offensively, since the opening week of the season. Now Indiana trying to respond. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis has got a first down. The uh, junior out with a hamstring injury, and he's a big playmaker, so he's not in there today for the Hoosiers. Third and seven. Lovecchio. Great catch. David Lewis inside. Lovecchio on the keeper. Turn off the concussion from last week, and they want to be careful how many times he carries it. Going wide and setbacks alongside. Quick toss on the slant, intercepted on the play. Alan Zermitis. And he's taken down by Courtney Roby, but a big turnover there. Right in the hands of Travis. A slant route. Nice throw by Lavecchio right in there. And Haney just can't come down with it. And Worshett knocks the ball up in the air and gives the minus a chance to catch it. Beautiful throw by Lavecchio right there. Haney probably doesn't get into the end zone with the safety coming over, but at least a first down inside the five. You can't make those kind of plays. Anthony Morelli is in a quarterback for the first time today for Penn State. First and 10 of the Nittany Lion 12. Austin Scott to the 15 yard line now for Penn State. Much talked about. He's four of nine coming into today's game passing wise. 32 yards. First and 10 make it to second down for Penn State second and seven the football at the 15 yard line as we begin the second quarter. Gaping hole Austin Scott takes advantage of it across the 35 yard line of the biggest run of the day today. Morelli under pressure dumps it off and Jefferson makes a run Morelli out of the shotgun on third down. Drills the sideline Robins got it first down and more. Yeah. On the offense. 10 yards from the previous spot. Repeat, third down. Morelli. Intercepted Kyle Killian coming back the other way in Penn State territory. To the 25, to the 20, 15, 10, 5. He's going all the way. Touchdown. On that pickup. Second down. Morelli over the top to the sidelines. Incomplete penalty marker down. As they were coming down the sideline. yard line of Penn State. Tony Hunt to the outside. Robinson at wide out and let Morelli throw it to him. Robinson's at the top of your screen. And they're going that way. Pass overthrown instead of a Robinson. Short now. Jefferson got nowhere. Oh my goodness. The for a yard or two, and, and that's it, but not this year. That offensive line not up to snuff. Capito's beautiful punt here. Lance Bennett makes the catch and is hit immediately at the 14 yard line. 14 6 7 lead would win that game. Take more than 14 points to beat Boise today. Alongside the quarterback, Lovecchio. Lovecchio trying to step up. He'll take it himself. 
And he's brought down short of the first down. Indiana. Good Indiana leading Penn State 13 to 7 on a defensive score. Interception return for a touchdown by Kyle Killian. Penn State first and 10. Football near the 43 yard line, Nittany Lion territory. Morelli continues at quarterback. And Tony Hunt, they haven't been the same. They've not recovered. Second down under pressure and taking a sack. And he's got it. Morelli sets up a screen. Here comes Tony Hunt. Not enough for the first down. Now shifts out of the shotgun. Straight eye formation backfield. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis the tail of the tandem. Lavecchio gets it away. Nicely done. Good block by Roby to Yardage spring. And completions. Running option to Roby. On cue, penalty marker down. Roby ushered out of bounds. Welcome up. Oh, Holding go. 84 on the on. Hey, stop Red. pattern. One for four today on third downs. A little screen pass. This one overshot the receiver incomplete. Boy, that hole opened up nicely, but it was closed in a hurry. But Indiana's defense has steadily improved this season. But here, Zach Mills able to escape. He gets for the Indiana defense came in as one of the uh, most heralded in the country. And they haven't been disappointing at all today. Take a look at them stuffing the round up in the end zone for Killian with the beautiful return. They have done a nice job keeping both quarterbacks for Penn State. Them stuffing the run right here. No room to go. The pressure on Zach Mills, which leads, which leads to the interception. And then the interception that wound up in the end zone for Killian with the beautiful return. But here, Zach Mills able to escape. He gets first down yardage. Club four, about four, four about guessing four. and off target. I beg your pardon. I was thinking Penn State defense, one of the most heralded in the country. But Indiana's defense has steadily improved this season. But here, Zach Mills able to escape. He gets for you. Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana, leading by six as we get set for the start of the second half. Indiana will receive. And we're underway in the second half. Good leverage into this kick, and Lance Bennett watches it sail through the end zone. So it'll be first and ten for Indiana out of the 20. It's been Indiana here. On first down. The sledding. We got the defensive uh, ball game. We thought we'd get. Penn State has dominated time of possession in that first half, but uh, Indiana has made uh, good use of the turnover. Both turnovers they forced, well, that, as Randy showed you. That's the big deal. The third down conversion show you how well the defenses are playing, but the points off turnover, that's where Indiana got all 13 of their points. Second down at about eight. Lovecchio now being chased. Gets to the sideline. At the Blitz coming from Derek Wake. And from the other side, Paul Cronin. And they meet at the quarterback back near the 10 yard line. Safety, as you can see, coming from the outside here. Take a look at the pocket collapse. There's Puzlesny in there, Cronin you saw in there, Wake you saw in there. When you're bringing that many guys, you got to get rid of the ball quickly. You didn't see the hot reach it's coming. Right. And punt formation gets a low snap and gets the kick away. A short kick on the run. Calvin Lowry cut down across the 40 yard. Punt. Forced to the outside. It started with Victor Adianju. Mills under a blitz. Tried to screen it out. Nobody home. Structure at the Monroe County Courthouse here in Bloomington. First and 10 for Indiana. They fake the reverse. And but Penn State has come out with a much more aggressive attitude defensively. They're bringing people, they're blitzing people, and they're trying to. 33. Option again. Ellis getting to the flank of the defense. Wake out in front of the play. And Puzlesny made the Michigan for a wide receiver is a cherished number. Maybe an offside's coming up here on the defense. There's the toss to Roby, and he's bottled up. I do not. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to go against Penn State there. You saw. I'm not sure they want to put him out there that much. Lavecchio takes it himself. He's pulled down short of the first down. Third and two, Indiana. Out of the stack eye, Lavecchio keeps it. I didn't think they'd be. Calling his number. Taylor. They open a nice hole, but Tamba Holly got it. Lovecchio. 
to the sidelines. Got his man. Out of bounds. First down. There's Travis Haney. Indisputable video evidence makes the pass incomplete. Make you want to study, Randy? First and ten. Zach Mills. Clearing for the pass is Robinson. Penalty marker down. He was tackled high on the play. Number 43 on the defense. First down. At the 41 yard line. Out of the eye. Play action. Mills under immediate pressure. Sets up Smoko, the tight end with running room. And he hurdles a defender across the 45. Second down. Austin Scott. Spin move. Gets him the first down. From the eye. On first down. And a man over the middle. The ball tipped and very nearly intercepted. He's got the control. Penn State third and long. Mills on a seam route incomplete. Penalty marker down. Pass intended for Smoko. Eight yards on the pickup, but more importantly, first and ten. Good throw. Decisive throw over the middle by Zach Mills. Isaac Smoko, the tight end. <laughs> Nice job getting the ball in there. When you're going to get the ball to your tight end over the middle, you have to get it to him before the safety. Blitz coming. Austin Scott is near the shotgun. Oh, a great catch. Sensational catch made by the freshman Mark Rubin. A fingertip catch beat Leslie Majors. A couple of nice things about this play. Zach Mills saw the blitz coming and held the cadence so that his lineman knew where to pick it up. The receiver saw it, knew that the middle of the field was going to be open. And what a beautiful catch. Do you wonder why they're so high on this freshman? I, I think he caught the back of the football, didn't he? The back end? Tell you what, a lot of quarterbacks don't throw it soft enough to catch the back end, but Mills does, and that was a beautiful throw and a nice catch. Option to Austin Scott. Cuts it back inside the five, down second down. Mills cuts it back to the end zone. Does he have it? Yes, he does. Touchdown. Zach Mills does well. He makes very few poor decisions, not only in the passing game, but that also relates to the option game. Goal kicking from left to right. This went into the end zone and through, so Indiana will take up. It's hard to keep those guys down. Their young skill people have really developed. Reverse to Roby. Got a great block from Adam. Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis. Connor make that uh, blitz coming. Quick toss. And they've got the first down. In this game, 73 yards, a lot of yards. <laughs> 73 <laughs> yards at times for the offenses. Is is a lot. And Penn State has come out and played much better offensively in the second half. Lovecchio lowers the head and is short of the first down. On third down, down and short for Indiana. The option out of it. Green Ellis trying to get the first down and does. Kind of nudged his legs. Picking up valuable yardage. Not lots in terms of numbers, but lots when they've come. Lovecchio has time. Over the top, into the end zone, and it's caught out of bounds, incomplete. Second and ten, Roby in motion. The option to Roby fumbles the football. Lovecchio gets it back, but outside the 35. And almost beat Indiana to the ball. Third and 19. Lovecchio under pressure. Throws it away incomplete. He was being injury is here, obviously. Passer, number 17 on the defense. 15 yards. Automatic first down. For a week ago. Good point. Again, they give it to Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, picking his way this time up the middle, inside the 15, close to the first. And we look a little tired out there this drive. First down for Indiana, Ben Jarvis. Second down. Ellis to the outside, chased by Connor, and down he goes inside. This for the lead. And it's good. 23 yard field goal. Back live, first and 10, Penn State down by two. Robinson across the 30, gets to the 30. It's going to be Robinson. Somebody's got to step up and make some plays. Mills under a blitz, incomplete. I'm not sure if that was tipped or not. 
Mills with time. Got his receiver out of bounds. First down, and that's the freshman, Mark Rubin, up near the midfield marker. The ball. Pitch, Austin Scott. Victor Adianju is out there Austin with him. He's got the program going in the right direction. Mills. Robinson. First down as he's ushered to the chalk marks on the near side. Against Indiana. Personal foul against Indiana. In the play. At 15 yards of that 12 yard gain. And now they get the running back running downhill. Austin. Terrell Golden, the tight end in motion. Hand off Austin Scott. Had a spin away from the middle and then gets death. The shotgun. To the end zone, Robinson. Penalty marker down Buster Larkins. Conditions. On the defense, number eight, the interference. Hunt the tail of the tandem. Mills pitch, Hunt sweeping to the right side. To the end zone, touchdown! And Penn State vaults back into the lead here in this seesaw second half. You probably will see Penn State go for two. Nice job, Devin Hunt letting that develop and boy, not a red jersey around there. Yeah, very patient was Tony the Hunt on that now at the one. Mills on the option reaches to the end zone for the two point conversion and Penn State increases the advantage 22 to 16 These are tough tough as nails you know they're only down to their sixth string running back or thereabouts on the reverse speaking of running blitz coming from Derek Wake Lovecchio wide open Travis Haney into only 11 catches Chris Taylor finds running room inside the 40. To try and get their legs under them. They just look tired. Chris Taylor, pile driving. Stacked up close to the first down. They fake the reverse. Taylor and Chisley responds on the play. They're rolling. Lovecchio, he's throwing back to the wall. Oh, nearly picked away. By Anwar Phil over there and was in perfect position. Just couldn't quite get there enough. Couldn't quite get there quickly I, enough. My goodness. But if, if if he doesn't time that and at least get there to knock the ball down. Lovecchio under a blitz. And he's got his man. And he's inside the five. Once again, the big play on third oh, down shoot. delivered by Indiana seeking the lead. Taylor pulled down short. Wayne defense has not allowed more than 21 points in a game this year. These three defenses, the only ones in Division 1A who have accomplished that. Well, and they run the risk here. Indiana gets this ball in the end zone. They're going to go over that for the first time all season. Stack eye again. Taylor again. This time met by Pelesny at the point of attack. Pelesny, the outstanding sophomore linebacker from Alec. Quippa, Pennsylvania. Wayne, third down here. Indiana can throw the ball knowing they'd go for it on fourth down. Option. Lovecchio brought down to the two yard line. Calvin Lowry came over, but really it was the senior. Der the option here, what I like about what Lovecchio did, he didn't try and force the ball out there. He, you could tell he thought about And Pinozo in front of Taylor. The give Taylor crashing in the middle. I don't think he got there. Penn State is held. Chris Taylor came up inches short. And the Penn State defense has held 55 seconds to go. Now you look at Tom Bradley over there. There's a just so hard to run against when you run right at him. And Penn State up to the challenge. Indiana challenged them strength against strength. And boy, there's just no way Chris Taylor gets into the Are, are you surprised with the call, Randy? Oh, I, I am. I, I, know, as I said right before, Penn that's... State rose up and stopped them. Indiana has two timeouts remaining. Zach Mills, little quarterback keeper. Second down. Zach Mills, collared high. Ooh, this year than last year. Third down for Penn State. And again, just a quarterback keeper. Three of them here, and now again. And then they'll Indiana. probably take the safety. Because the two points won't hurt them, and then as they kick it away. Well, 
There it is, down to two seconds. And this long. Campanos waiting for it. The back line of the end zone. That's exactly what he does. Steps out of bounds, and that will do it. A hard fought victory for Joe Paterno and the Penn State Nittany Lions here today over the Indiana Hoosiers. Back and forth we went through the second half, but Penn State ends up on top 22 to 18 over IU. For Randy Wright and Beth Bowens, Wayne Larrabee saying so long from Bloomington, Indiana. Penn State 22, Indiana 18. We'll take a break. Return to Mike Lisa to John Cooper, the ESPN Plus College Game Day Studio right after this.